podcast of a new year in 2022. I guess I really can't say happy new year, but happy new year to all of our <laughs> listeners. We are ready to tell you about something called two plus two. Welcome to Henrico Happenings. I'm Victoria Davis. And I'm Kristen Smith. You know, February is the shortest month of the year, but yeah. it always seems to be one of the busiest, right? You have Cupid shooting arrows through the air for Valentine's Day. President's Day is on February 21st. And this month is also a key time for people to prep their taxes. I know everyone's looking forward to that, right? <laughs> right. Even Uncle Sam, if, if whether he's sending you a refund this year, you might still be up in the air. But we want to share that there's a chance property owners here in Henrico could get some tax relief from the county. It's a proposal called 2 Plus 2. And here to talk more about it is Henrico's new director of finance, Sheila Miner. Hi. Sheila, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So much, so happy to be here. We're glad to have you. Can you break this down for us? We're talking two plus two, kind of two different things, but sort of in the same realm. Sort of in the same realm. So we understand with the housing market right now that home prices are just going through the roof. It's something we haven't seen in 15 plus years with property values. Um, what most people don't understand is that the state law requires localities like Henrico County to assess property at 100% of that full market value. So the assessed values and, and the real estate tax bills are going to go up because of that market. So as a county, we were looking for ways to provide relief to our taxpayers. And the 2 plus 2 program does just that. It is The, the plan is to provide a two-cent credit back to our property owners, not just most, but all who have paid taxes to Henrico County on real estate. And the 2022 assessed values are about to come out mm -hmm. and, and property owners are going to see those assessed value notices come in the mail here in the next few weeks. What we're going to do is take two cents of that assessed value. So take that assessed value, divide it by 100, then multiply it by 0.02. Mm -hmm. That value is going to come back to our taxpayers as tax relief, and it's going to come in one of two ways. If your tax credit equals $30 or more, you are going to receive a check directly from Henrico County that first week of March. If your credit is less than $30, we're going to apply that credit to your upcoming tax bill that you'll be receiving in a, around April. So everybody is getting tax relief if they are paying a tax bill in Henrico County. If you're delinquent as of February 1st, you're going to see that credit applied back to your delinquent bill. Um, that's the first two of two plus two. The second two of two plus two is that the Board of Supervisors is going to be receiving a proposal from staff to have the real estate tax rate at 85 cents compared to 87 cents where we were billing last year. So we're reducing that tax rate by two cents as well. So homeowners and, and businesses, property owners, are going to receive the equivalent of four cents relief on their 2022 assessed values. Two cents of it's coming back in a credit, and then two cents is going to be reduced off the tax rate when those bills come out in April. So the tax rebate, let's start there. Mm -hmm. I just want to reiterate that people are going to see their assessments higher, just like any house in your neighborhood that has sold over the last year and a half. You And I mean, at least in my neighborhood, we're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so there, there might be a little sticker shock, but that is part of the motivation for the rebate. Unfortunately, that's just the times we're living in right now. And you can't say everybody, everybody's case is a little bit unique, but nationwide, we're seeing home values go up higher across the country. It's not just a Virginia thing. It's not just a Henrico County thing. It's a nationwide thing. And we've seen that same trend in Henrico County. So more often than not, yes, homeowners are gonna see some substantial increases in their assessed values. We've had neighborhoods that have seen their home prices go up 30, 40, even 50 percent, not just in Henrico County, but in other parts of the Commonwealth as well. So we're not alone in that boat. A lot of localities are talking about tax relief, but this is the first time, and Henrico County will be the first one to actually give back a check to our property mm -hmm. owners. This legislation that we're using has been in place since about 2005, 
But to our knowledge, Henrico is the first county to actually provide that refund back to our taxpayers in the form of a credit. Yeah, because who gives money back? <laughs> Henrico <laughs> County. From your local government, we haven't seen it that often, that's for sure. We're definitely set in the train. I could tell you that for it's, sure. It's generated a lot of buzz. It really has. What kind of checks are we talking about? I know it depends on the value of your home, but we're not talking um, enough money to retire and quit your job. No, but the original proposal was for anything $50 and above to go out to taxpayers. Our board members decided to lower that to $30, and the reasoning they had is that $30 is a tank of gas. You mm-hmm. know, it, maybe not at $3 a gallon, but, you know, it's getting... <laughs> Right. So this is this is money back, real money back to people's pockets. So, for example, a hundred and fifty thousand dollar house is where you're going to see the thirty dollars credit. Our average home value, I think, for the assessed average assessed value is right at about three hundred and twenty thousand. That's sixty four dollars. So you can kind of gauge by that the the order of magnitude on, on your credit in your individual circumstances. So talk to us, Sheila, briefly just about the overall amount. Um, When we're talking about these um, tax relief, what is the combined total and the the, uh, combined total for the county that we're dishing out here? That's a great question because a lot of people think, well, $20, $30, $40, $60 checks aren't a whole lot of money. But in the grand scheme of things, this 2 plus 2 initiative is going to be $20 million in tax relief going back to our citizens, $10 million for the $0.02 rebate, and then another $10 million for the $0.02 that we will forego on real estate collections for the 2022 calendar year. There are going to be people out there that say, can the county afford to do this? Maybe they should use that money to build another school or something like that. Well, we, as you know, we budget every year for all of the services that are provided to our citizens and we have met and exceeded that budget in the last year and because of home prices and the amount of real estate taxes we're forecasting to receive in 2022 we're going to have a surplus again in 2022. So I want to assure people that we're still providing that same quality quality level of service that they're accustomed to receiving Mm -hmm. But this is also an opportunity. We're giving back the surplus that we have in excess of what we need to provide those services. I think it's also interesting to note that we're going to reduce or the proposal is to reduce the property tax by two cents because Henrico is known for never raising its rates. Exactly. Yeah. But in this case, it's been we're lowering them. Cents for a long time. And actually, we went back and looked. It's been over 40 years yeah. since we've raised. And even uh, that's just because we went back 40 years to look. But there's a graph I presented to the board at retreat that shows the tax rate itself has consistently gone down over those 40 years. Yet our tax revenue has consistently gone up despite those cuts in the tax rate. And the reason is for that is, is that Henrico is really a growing and dynamic community. And as we add to that tax base commercially and residentially, it's an opportunity for us to keep lowering that tax rate because to share in that prosperity with our citizens. And and this tax relief credit does that as well. And so if if it's approved, if the Mm -hmm. tax credit is approved um, later this month, when would residents anticipate getting money? They can anticipate those checks to come out the second week of March. And we're going to send checks out with an explanation, but we're also going to send letters to those people who are going to see that credit applied to their bill. We don't want them feeling like they've been left out or ignored or overlooked in any way. So your property owners are going to either receive a check with a letter explanation and insert, or they're going to receive a letter telling them that their credit's applied to their next real estate bill. So you talked about the letter and the forms of um, the ways that the check will come out. So I know we're going to do a lot of advertising and marketing for this effort. So tell us if people have questions or they're, they don't really know if their home um, cuts in that, that rate or not, how can they get in touch with you all to get that information? We have multiple ways. The first of which is always, you know, we're, we use the World Wide Web for everything. Yes. Go to the county's website. We're going to have that front and center on our website explaining the program with links. We're also going to have examples. 
when they receive that check, there's going to be an insert that has a QR code mm-hmm. that will have a link to the website if you want to use your smartphone and just take the QR read and, and go to the website that way. We'll also have a link in that letter. And then for folks who don't want to use the web or aren't savvy with like that, we'll have a phone number and and call the phone number. And our employees are going to be happy to explain what the check is, talk about calculations. If there's some issue, which we don't anticipate there being, but if there is some issue, they'd be happy to explain that as well. You're the director of finance. You don't have to sign all those checks yourself, do you? <laughs> Not personally. <laughs> no. We have about a... 93,000 checks going out. So I, no, I no. don't have to sign them all. <laughs> what else would you like to share with us? Just just some additional detail. Um, February 1st is the date that we are cutting off for ownership. So if you own the property as of February 1st, 2022, your name is going to be on the check. We The intent was to provide relief and credit for these upcoming bills. So we will have um, owners who may have sold a property in January. And we understand that, you know, you've paid taxes to us, but this is really geared toward helping folks with the 2022 assessments because of this housing market. So that's why we chose that date. Um, also, if you're delinquent in your real estate taxes as of February 1st, anticipate that you're going to get a letter and we're going to tell you that your your credit has been applied to your delinquency. So you're still you're still cashing in. You're it's still just, getting a benefit. Right. Absolutely. That's a win win all around. I can't mm-hmm. I can't see why anybody wouldn't want to take a check. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks so much for your insight. And like Victoria said, anytime you can put more money in residents pockets. It is a win-win. It's a victory. It's a good thing. Absolutely. And we'd encourage everyone to go and spend locally when they receive those checks. Boost our Henrico economy. That's right. Thanks so much, Sheila. Well, that will do it for us for this episode of Henrico Happenings. Be sure to look out for your tax credit and don't spend it all in one place. But keep (laughs) your hearts pumping because it is Heart Awareness Month in February as well. And happy Black History Month to all. And good night. (laughs) Bye-bye.